and look pretty in the process. Right. Because pretty is what matters. It is. Yeah. Hey. It is. I know. Okay. Just make I, sure I we're agree. On the same. I know. We're, we're totally on okay. the same page. Okay. Just make sure you're not. Uh, no. Not joshing me over no. here. No. Okay. Okay. I love you. I love you. Alright, so. Perhaps. If we replace these. Yes, that's what we're. Well. This one's gonna sync up to that. Um. You yeah, had a, we'll you do had a raid? It. What? I got a raid from Drax LP. Oh. Alright, so here's what we're doing. We are so doing this. Okay, so nodes. Uh, liquid transfer nodes. Really? We don't have a recipe for that? Get out of here. You don't say that, by the way. There's no. No such thing as a deep storage unit. All right, we'll do that. Code, and just throw that in here somewhere. Since we got all the spikes done, we'll just throw it in next. Let's go and do all the other ones too, since we're again on a auto crafting binge here. We have to auto craft all the things. Welcome, Drax Raiders. Do we have this in there? I don't think we do either. Angel blocks are so much fun. If you guys have never used an angel block before, I highly recommend it. You can just place them under you at any time. Yes, the more you say Drax LP, the more I will remember it. Drax LP, Drax. I hear if you say Drax LP three times in a mirror. What happens? You'll get raided? Yes. <laughs> Exactly. Where are the other nodes at? I got the uh, liquid node. I'm not seeing them though. Oh, here we are. Uh, item node. Go with this one. Uh, we got the liquid node. Energy node. It's a QED recipe, so we can't do it here. Can't automate it at all. Those are QEDs. I think we have a recipe for this, but uh, what's it called again? Transfer pipe? We may not. We don't. Huh. Okay. So, what do we not have for that? No, not that. That. Glass. Oh, wow. Why is it we're always missing glass? Every time I come in here, it's like a thousand glass, and that lasts us like two seconds. That's gone. Alright, let's notice that. Um, sorting pipe. Sure, why not? Filter pipe. I don't have a reason. I don't like that recipe. I don't like that at all. Let's cancel those back out. And go with the powder. Bah, Mayor. Bah. Well, that's the fun roll. You don't don't reveal yourself. I'm not. Okay. Not. Okay. I ain't doing it. Good. Good. Oh, I want uh, to it. Rationing pipe. Energy pipe. Don't say anything either. They'll kill you. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything. Okay. Just make it sure. Crossover pipe. Pipey pipe. Mod sorting pipe. Oh, those are those are my favorite. Energy extraction pipes. Wait, what did I not have for that? Oh, energy pipes. Right, let's go ahead and add all these pipes to the uh, extra utilities lists of things we can craft. Uh, which was the recipe I didn't like? Something that took ink sacks? It's probably this one up here, isn't it? Yeah, okay. So if you've never used Applied Energistics Autocrafting before, this is how you do it. The, uh... The parts that go into it are a lot more expensive than you would imagine, though. Does Infinity have thermal dynamics? 
Yes, it does. Right, so we needed to make some energy pipes so that we could do the whatever this pipe is we're making now. What's it called? Energy extraction pipes. Okay. Hyper rationing pipe. Sure, why not? You know, I don't think I have a recipe for a button in here yet. So we'll do that. Is there anything else that was weird that I might not have a recipe for? I think we got stone slabs covered. I think the rest of them are pretty good. Okay. Trash can! You can always use a recipe for a trash can. It's one of our favorite extra utilities items. Don't need it. Like, that's the, one of the first things that I create, too. Modded, you pick up a lot of extra stuff that you don't need to start off with. So just throw it in the trash can. Alright, let's put away our button first. Muffin button. Wait, where'd it go? And there it is back in our inventory. Okay, so we have these liquid transfer nodes. Um, I don't know if we actually need the retrieval node side of it or if they actually just sync up like on their own. Can thermal dynamics do like uh hold on, let me just go ahead and, and do this and then you can tell me if thermal dynamics can do this. Uh what are they called? These things here, yes. Transmitters. So basically transmit and receive stuff wirelessly. So we need a bunch of interpearls, some quartz, some redstone, and some redstone torches. Grab some interpearls. Grab some quartz. Oops. Stop. Stop moving. There we go. Uh, grab some redstone torches and redstone. So, I know it's like this. And then, I want to say the... Hold on. Alright, so we're going to have a couple oh. transmitters. Did did you re reveal yourself too soon? Nope, I haven't revealed. Oh, you're gonna die. Nope, I didn't. Uh, I'll do four of them. And then... Receivers will do... Two of... You know, the uh, infinite RF cable is great, but Tesseracts already do that, so why bother with it? Hmm? And yes, Indrio conduits are amazing. I'm a big advocate of those. Love them. Oh yeah, let's watch the, the fancy graphics for the uh, Interflux guys going. Oh. Are those out of range? I think they were. Shucks. That's sad face. Means I can either like move that to like right where the. I wonder if that would work. Move the Interflux guy over there. Oh well. Uh, let's go up to. Tide Energistics. Let's grab something. Cut a straw. What? We don't have our straw in here. I know I made one at some point, I just don't know where it went. 
Wait, that's the wrong kind of straw. Uh, maybe it's not a straw. I know it's extra utilities, though. That allows you to basically... Suck liquid XP out of a tank. Uh, where are you at? Maybe, no, it's still, it's in dry o. It's right here, experience rod. There we go. But anyway, let's see, how much XP does it take to name one of these guys? Oh, just five. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. So it's some essence berries, so we have some XPs. Do can we do like a whole stack of them? So transmitter, liquid XP. Ah, yeah. Cost of twenty levels, which ironically is going to cost more than if we did them one at a time. do there I don't know okay I'll just do these two at the same time and that's kind of how you configure the uh, frequencies form so now that we have those let's go ahead and do some liquid essence he spilled milk underneath my base how dare he what? I said slip visited my base earlier on stream and he spilled milk? And he spilled milk. Doesn't that guy know I'm lactose intolerant? <laughs> God, the nerves of some people. I right. mean, they just they just don't consider things, you know? Alright, so... I'll just hop in and hop out really quick. Um, let's see here. We have actually a signal set up for this, I believe. So if we, like, flip this switch. I want to say that's going to be the spawner one. It is. Oh, thank God. Okay, no spawns. Good. Uh, so I believe if we do like this, and in each of these, see how it's got liquid XP? If we put transmitter to each of those, they will be able to transmit liquid XP. I think that's how they work, at least. We can also put speed upgrades and multiple transmitters to transmit a higher a rate of the liquid XP. But we just want to make sure it does work before we go too crazy with it. And I'm thinking up here we can do like this. Maybe? Oh, please work. Okay, configuration top is going to be liquid input. And we'll give it that guy. So, oh, yep. It received it. Now we just have to get it to. Okay, hold on, hold on. I think I might have this slightly backwards to where it needs to be. Like that. And, uh. Drop some pipes. Oh, please tell me this works. It didn't work. Oh, right, because we took out the, the receiver thing. Right there. And it's working, because I saw it pump out. Perfect. So we'll do the same thing over here. Um, blue up top. Okay. 
actually means that... Ah, uh, no. We'll leave it like that. That'll be good. like this, like this, one there, one there, split these guys up so they're separate. Oh, son of a gun. You died. Yes, I did. Ha ha. All right, so back to our pattern guy here. Uh, actually, let's see what we have for our vanilla recipes. Make sure we don't have what we're going to be looking for, which is going to be a bookshelf. I see no bookshelf. Uh, but we do want to go through and get this guy. Clear it out. And do like... So we have oak wood in a plentiful form. What am I going to transpose? Oh, you know. Wait, do you not know? Did you miss that part of the stream? We are transposing liquid XP onto a bookshelf. So we can make some magical wood. <laughs> uh, magical wood, there we are. So bookshelf recipe, we just do like that. Code book recipe which we have lots of books uh, but we'll go with this one code uh, string we got blank patterns go with that code okay so we're gonna have just a random recipe tab so we're gonna put that go down vanilla and we'll do like a bookshelf whatever that was whatever that is I know we got lots of books. We actually have some bookshelves too, apparently. Good stuff. Uh, we'll do a recipe. Close that out. It's going to be the lime and the coconut. And we'll mix it all up. And that's going to give us magical wood. Wait, what? <laughs> Alright, so take that in there. Uh, is, that, is that right? Yeah, I guess that's right. And done. Grab the magical wood. Wait, is it not automatically spitting out? Give it a second to actually catch it this time. And done. When without revealing yourself as the mayor. What? Yeah. Nice. GG. Yeah. Yeah. You could have helped the town, you know. We won. Yeah. You were like the last. Oh, you died. Yeah. But you still won. Yeah. Yeah, no comment. Okay, so it's not what? throwing the stuff out for some reason. Hey! Hey! Hey, I love you. Hey. 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 <laughs> what? What, are you, what are you doing? What do you, what do you think you're doing? Huh? <laughs> Why is your head on fire? It's, what is it's that? It's green. It's, it's ectoplasm. That's gross. That's, Looks like you got a big bugger. That's right, I do radioactive booger on your forehead. I have a radioactive booger <laughs> on my forehead. Let's write a song about it. Radioactive booger <laughs> on my forehead. On my forehead. Alright, so I think these things might not be pumping out right. Nope, they're set up correctly. Do I not have a tesseract underneath them? There's a tesseract right there. Set to go to power, configuration, send items. Ah, oh, jeez. Um, well, this could be very bad, or this could be very, very, very bad. I don't know why it's not sending items out. It should be. But it's not. Configuration's right. Set to output the back. But it's just sitting there. Why is it just sitting there? Alright, 
Let's uh, don't want to break the magma crucibles to get this. Let's see here. Really don't want to break those guys either. Dang it. Um, I need to basically see. Ah, well, we, we got like infinite redstone anyway, so huzzah. Yeah, I was afraid of that. Insert. Okay, fixed. And we'll place you back down, and of course you lost everything. Wow, even your augmentation? Did we have augmentation in this guy? I don't, don't know if we did. Whatevs. Um, did you keep your configuration at least? Yeah. I'll put top and put the side. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Okay, so that should be going now. Yep. Let's go ahead and finish that recipe if we will. Set over here. Here we are. So that takes that to make that. And we're going to go back over here to the fluid transposer and put it in this ME interface here, like so. Now these guys are going kind of slow, as you can see here, very slow. But there's this augmentation. So let's get some upgrades for that. Pretty sure we already have the recipes. So let's see here. Uh, we don't need to worry about the stabilize, so just 10 of those. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Excellent. Uh, 10 of these. Okay, thanks. Put away our bookshelves. And 10 of these guys. Awesome. Very quick. Recipe not so bad. I thought it was going to be a lot worse than that away some of this other garbage that we're still holding on to. And we're not going to need the experience rod for now. Alright, so this guy and it's going to be like this, this, that. See? Good bit faster. Not bad. And we'll do the same for this guy. So this this and that. So what that's gonna do after ages of work what's up November Lim R November Lima? Oh wow 515 a.m. Isn't it time to be waking up? My goodness All right, so um, yeah, yeah. I got my quarry going right now, and I've got all sorts of stuff just perfectly set up in my ME system. Ha ha ha! Been working on that a lot recently too. So let's do this, shall we? Golden spikes, diamond spikes, tin, please. Oh, really? That's not so bad. A hundred, please. Oh, gold blocks. I knew there was something we'd be missing. Alright, so... Sort by number of items. Okay, thanks. It's going to be a recipe and encode. Yeah, so I don't have the wireless thing yet. I know exactly what you're talking about. The wireless access terminals and uh, security. Well, okay, let me let me let me reverse there. Security. That's why we don't have it. To install the uh, wireless access terminals, you have to have security set up in your applied energistic system. And when you add security to your applied energistic systems. Sometimes it will completely lock you out of your applied energistic system. Like even after you've got it all set up and it's been working great for days, just randomly go in there and hey, I can't access my items. What's going on? Ah, Savior of the universe. The wonderful slash flash. 
Thanks for the uh, thanks for the donation, LG Shoe. And thanks for tuning in. You're a champ, and all you guys can be champs by just donating. All donations go towards. Um, let's do 100 this time. All donations go towards the uh, the work that I do on my channel, streaming and such. Oh yeah, look at it go. Now it's crafting the magical woods. Do I have multiple subsystems? No. In fact, I've got everything in one huge system. I'm going for the achievement of 2,048 channels in a single system. It's going to take a while to get there. A long while. And done-ish. Done-ish. I just don't want to do the security and have to worry about it not working and breaking stuff. Alright, so now we have some spikes. So with these spikes you can go over to like an enchanting table. We don't have an enchanting table, do we? <laughs> That's okay. Um, we have all the enchants we would possibly want on our sword right now, I believe. Does that work? Oh, we can't. Did it not? Nope. Damn it. Oh, well, that kind of sucks. I heard you could put enchants on it, but I was hoping we could use Mr. Mana Enchanter there to do it. I guess not. Uh, maybe we should set up like an Osmotic Enchanter? I know that would probably work, but uh, for now let's head over to spawn and see if we can use the enchantment table there at spawn. Actually, hold on. Uh, let's do... Yeah, we have an enchantment table. What do you know? Alright, back up to our magical area. Uh, so we have these nice little mana pylons that are used for the mana enchanter, but guess what? They also work great with the vanilla enchanting tables. We're gonna throw one down right here. That should give us 30 levels. Okay, I guess we can't enchant spikes either. Oh, sad face! I got sorry they said that was coming in a future future release. Oh. What else can we change? Maybe we can put like put it in an anvil, maybe? Let's see here. Back to the AE level. Boop. Let's just grab, like, our Looting 3 book. Let's see if it'll actually accept it. No, look, doesn't accept it at all. Ah, Boo. If we do use on it, that should tell us what enchants to slow fall, flim flim, bah. that face. Alright, well I guess we just wasted our time there. Hmm. No worries. Let's put that back on our sword. Inventory and enchanting three. Looting, looting three, not enchanting three. Yes, enchanting three. Uh, so, so you guys can be in the loop on this too. I'll just go ahead and show you what I've got going for my applied energistic storage. As you can see, lots of decent amount of drives going on there. Um, I figured after a while that, you know, I'm probably not going to ever need more than a million of any particular thing, which a million is uh, basically two of the 64k storage drives. So that works out pretty good. So I've got uh, like labeled for stone, and that's just going to be for stone, netherrack, cobblestone, 
gravel, mycelium, and like copper, pulverized coal, just, you know, all the various things that I have uh, a lot of. And I've got it set up that, so it stores them in there. And after we get more than what will fit in those two, two drives, which is going to be one million, the extras go over here into a storage bus, into a matter condenser. So we're, we're popping out some singularities like crazy over here, guys. And this is the items that we're putting in here, too. So that's kind of cool. In fact, let's see, how many singularities are we up to? 164, so that's a good amount. Considering that each singularity is half a million items. So 164 times half a million, that's like 82 million items that we've put into the singularity matter condenser. I think I'm good. I don't think I need to defrag. I've, I've defragged a few times with this this MEIO port. So whenever I create like one of these, I'll come over here and um, I'll leave one over here in the second tab that's like empty. And then I'll grab the one here, like that, and I'll come over here and do this. So it pulls all of it out of the system and puts all of it in there. So now all my andesites in there. It's weird. Did I not do that with all of these? Because, huh? Not gonna worry about it. That shouldn't have pulled as many items as it did, but it did. So yeah, I've got iron ingots. I'm about to hit a million on. Uh, what are singularities used for? Not much, really. Um, if we go to singularities, we should have this right here. So if you drop. Singularity and one ender dust, and cause an explosion within range of the items. Uh, then you get get these quantum entangled, tangled, quantum entangled singularities, and they're used for uh, quantum quantum stuff with applied energistics, which we have in here. So that's kind of cool. I think it looks cool. That's why I did it like that, by the way. It looks wicked cool. Don't you guys think? All the blue lights and all the shiny lights. And then a big old magma torch in the middle. So that's where I've got my quantum linking devices. I don't have anything else hooked to the other end of it. But that's where my chambers are at. So when I do go and expand and make... JC no smash magma torch. It's my magma torch. Alright, so yeah. Let's uh put these guys away now. Put them away, put them away, put them away now. Um You want to see my power generation? You want to see what I got going? It's actually really cool. Um, let me let me do this. Let's go outside. Because I do have it turned on right now, so I'm actually generating power. Usually, I don't I don't turn. Let me show you my power storage first, so you got, you can be aware of this. So, yep, I got a I got a big old Dragon Ball of draconic storage. Oh my goodness, I was down to 22 billion power? Holy crap! I'm using up a lot more power than I thought I was. Anyway, so we're actually generating power right now, so it's it's going to be recharging. That's good. Let's go outside and I will show you the power generation. That did not take me where I wanted it to. So here's my big ball. Uh, if you're fans of balls, you probably like my base. And here's the view from underneath. Um, 
I don't see any milk, so I don't know where he, where he spilled the milk at. Maybe it was down there. Lots of random grass blocks missing. That's from Enderman, I'm not sure. But there's my power generation. I have uh, four... Eh, I don't know if that's max, but I'm pretty sure that's close to max size um, turbines. And uh, I think it looks cool. I've got like this little screen glass here to make it look kind of like the, the blackened texture there um, to go along with the outside of it. Make it look like it's actually keeping the ball up in the air. I got uh, Ludicrite inside the turbines to increase the output a little bit. It's mixed with the water. Well, like along through. Oh no! Wait, no. That's just sand over there. He likes skin milk, does he? So yeah, that's the power generation. Uh, let's go. Let's, I'll go and try, try and show that tool. Where's the people that are new? Uh, so here's each of the uh, tops of them. I have one, one big reactor here in the middle. Cranks out, you know, eight thousand millibuckets per tick of steam. Consumes about one millibucket per tick. So I go through a bucket or one ingot of yellow right um, every. Let's see, it's hundred. Millibuckets makes a bucket, makes an ingot. 20 in a tick. Ticks in a second. Every five seconds? Or is it every 50 seconds? Yeah, I don't know. But uh, I got these control rods set to 67%, so I'm not using full capacity of that too, which is nice. And if we come over here. And look into the test rack. That's where all the power goes. I have uh, each of the re, uh, each of the turbines going to a tesseract, and the tesseract uh, goes to the power storage up there, which is kind of like a, 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 a just a big energy bank basically. And then I pump s stuff out of the other side of it to go to machines and stuff. So each of these generates 28,053 RF per tick. So that's kind of cool. And if you're really crazy, you do something like this. Disengage coils. And you can watch your RF go up way high. But we're not going to do that. Wait a second. Can we get more RF? Hmm. Interesting. I wasn't expecting the RF to go up when I actually disengaged the coils, but it did. And we can't increase the flow rate over 2,000. Meh. Whatever. It doesn't make sense to turn those off and back on. Anyway. Anyway, that's my power generation. And all the stuffs and things. Cutie room. Arf tools room. Alright, let's, uh, we've got about, about 30 minutes left to stream today. I'd like to go show. Since it's just me and Tim, I'm not sure what Tim's doing, but hopefully he won't matter too much, or mine too much. I've kind of picked out an area I'd like to do this uh, next build in. Uh, just just over that, so 28,000 times 4, or 
you could round it up to like 30,000 if you wanted to and say it's about 12, 120,000. Not quite as much as I was generating last season or in, in Crack Pack a few seasons ago, but I was insane then and I had used the um, MFFS to basically duplicate my turbines to uh, a crazy amounts and had 32 or 64 turbines going that's kind of crazy several hundred thousand RF. which what I'd like to do is set up a power generation using some of the bigger um, Ender IO generators and generators and by that I mean something like the um, this right here one nether star generator my schedule buddy uh, master epicus I um, hope I'm not hope I'm not ruining too many people's names tonight uh, but uh, my schedule I just added to if you look underneath the stream, like down here, down here, you'll see like how to donate. You'll see like my schedule. You'll see uh, stuff and things. Oh my goodness, I just love how this looks. Like, look at this. How awesome is this area right here? Just spikes and some random platform above it. I actually don't like this little hangy, hangy bit out here. I'm already doing a little terraforming. In uh, just random places. If I can see it going like that, maybe, and like that, but that's about it. Okay. Not sure I can get passive mobs out here either. I haven't seen any yet. And should I leave that there or break that too? I think I'll get rid of that one also. It's kind of out of place. But yeah, ice. Ice plane spikes. This is where I'm going to be building a humongous uh, castle, fortress, something like that. We'll see. It's going to be awesome. And I'm going to put Mr. Loki Ring to some good use. Hopefully, it gets patched sooner than later. Uh, is my PC good enough to play other games? Yes, it is. It's it's not bad. I uh, recently upgraded over Christmas uh, to get uh, eight core AMD processor, um, AMD graphics card, which I'm still sorely upset about. Um, I'm probably gonna steal my wife's GeForce video card, and it's dead. But um, so pissed about AMD. Like, those guys can just ugh, forget them as a company. I'm tired. I'm tired of them. I think we're going to want to put a magnum torch over here so we can start building things in this area. Because that is just... That is too cool to pass up. Just look at that, guys. Like, even if I don't build anything there, it's going to look awesome. So, this is kind of where I'm planning on setting up a big fortress. It's so cool. Like, I don't even want to touch it because it looks so cool. I'm thinking I maybe you know build something in the in the wall there uh, what Nvidia card it'd be a Nvidia GTX 760 not sure how I feel about the processor I've got mixed emotions on it too but the video card is just just upsetting it's just very upsetting um, in terms of Linux support AMD is more open source than Nvidia is but the 
power that they get out of their cards is just very lacking. It is maybe ten times less powerful than the equivalent NVIDIA card in Linux, and I like Linux, so I haven't been in it in a while because I've been using a video card that I don't like. So that, that's, that's really, really killing me. Um, that's good. And uh, the Windows performance with it is also lacking too. I've noticed graphical glitches that are not showing up on a NVIDIA video card. Like stuff actually not showing up when it should be. Huh. That's, that's an interesting little pillar there. Let's get rid of it though. Get rid of it. Um, where's our... I guess we don't have our wyvern pickaxe on us. That's sad. I'd be a lot quicker if I had my Terra Shatter on me as well, but this thing doubles as a both um, shovel and a pickaxe, so that's why I like it so much. That's why it's so quick with this dirt. Just as fast as a shovel. Or a spoon. Or whatever you want to call it. So it's going to be a mostly pristine uh, area. I'm just going to do some minor fixes here and there with the terrain. And then have like a huge fortress coming out of out of the walls. I don't think I'll use um, travel anchors to connect it either. Um, just based on how I've used travel anchors in the Death Star. Um, I got mixed reviews on them. Um, they really, they really screw with things in your um, like perspective, if you will, when you're using it. Um, I'd probably go with Intel processor, but they cost more and they have less. Uh, oops. Less processor speed, but like, even though they have less speed, they have more capabilities built into them. So the the extra capabilities you get out of them usually add up to better performance than you would get with just more power. Unfortunately, throwing more power at everything doesn't always answer it. It doesn't always fix things. I know that makes me upset too, but you know, you get what you pay for. I got the uh, I got this 8 core 4.0 gigahertz processor for I want to say around 100, 150. So very reasonably cost. Um Motherboards are also cheaper for AMD. I think my motherboard I paid uh, around 70 to 54. And it comes with most of the bells and whistles. So USB 3 support if I was so inclined. And uh, it's decent. Actually, if you look, my computer specs are also one of the topics um, down here beneath beneath the stream if you want to look I'm not sure if I put actually like what kind I use but um, yeah the general specs for it and you can go from there staff of power huh you know what else works pretty good bound pickaxe I need to make one of those all right Last thing we're going to do on stream. Maybe. We might do some other stuff. Love this little dislocator now that I got one, finally. Nope, see, see where I'm clicking? See where I'm going? 
See, this is why the travel anchors aren't the best in the world. There we go. Just took it a couple tries. Uh, so we don't have a bound pickaxe yet, so let's do that. Do, 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 do. Put away some of this snow and stuff. And pickaxe. Pickaxe. Uh, what else did we not have bound? Let's search for the A system too. Anything bound in here? Nope, nothing bound. Uh, we got a bound axe. We got a bound sword. We need a pickaxe and a shovel. Recipe for that, recipe for that. Dink, ba donk. Ba dink, ba donk. Activation schedule is not in there. Shares here. And there it is. Okay. I think it's out this way. Yep, there it is. Alright, let's get us. Uh, one of them things. Activate it. Put it in there. Dun, 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 dun. Ba, 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 ba. I, uh, so, I bow, I bow power is great. Um, uh, let me throw this link out for you guys so you can check it out. This is what I use to put together my PC. PC part picker. Activate. Put out the fires. And wait. I just flew by the milk. Wait, really? the cows oh look at that it's <sighs> milk everywhere you know some people no respect I tell you no what kind of node was this Ooh, that's actually nice he didn't take my perdicio node did he did because if anyone takes that perdicio node I'm gonna be I'm upset. This is one I need to get. It's so nice. Look at this. 94 Prodicio. Beautimus. Speaking of beautiful. How's it going, beautiful? Yeah, looking good up there. Looking all domey and spherical-like. Oh, yeah. Oh, did I, uh... So... Milk prank. Totally... Totally gonna happen. Friday, tune in, milk prank. Um, one of the cool things that I got in Friday's stream when I was killing all the Batania stuff was the uh, shard I made. I made a shard of la pata XX. And it does some pretty cool stuff. Um, it does this right here. I got myself a floating island. The trees kind of got screwed up, but that that's okay. It moved the leaves before moving the actual trees, and the leaves disappeared. So they're all like... Blank on the edges. It's funny. But yeah, I thought it was pretty fun. Doing that guy. That's a... 30 minutes to move it from there to there. Pretty cool effect. Alright, so... I now have a bound pickaxe. 
Yes, I do. Bound pickaxe is what I like to do. So, not sure if you guys have seen what the bound pickaxe can do. Let me find a good place and I'll show you. Actually, I, I know exactly the place to go. Let's go this way. The uh, the shard of Lapata, Batania. If you you basically craft it, it takes a bunch of Gaia spirits. And once you've got it crafted, you just right click on an area, and it takes that area. Oh, we passed it, and it lifts it up, makes turns it into a floating islands as it actually say so this this my dear friends is why I like the bound pickaxe no just kidding let's, let's dig down first oh this is why I like the bound pickaxe Oh, maybe I didn't have to dig down first. Oop! I didn't know it dug down. The uh, axe itself doesn't. Put away all the things we just picked up. Okay. Yeah, just right click and it goes to town. So, let's see, we gotta get that. Here, Boop. a little bit over here, gone. It doesn't matter what it's made out of. Poof, poof. And it leaves the dirt too. So it's kind of funny, but so overpowered. Big fan of it. I like I like balance tools a lot for their abilities to do stuff like that. They got a decent amount of blood too. The flowers. And the barleys? Yeah, the barleys. Okay. So just harvested that uh, meteor in like no time flat. All sorts of sky stone. Ooh, what's over there? Oh, let's just, uh... That's cool. Random platform. And back home. How much LP does it use? Well, I don't know. I don't really care. Um... Let's go up there. And we'll see how much actually... How much actual LP we have left. I think maybe like... 10 to 5,000 per use or something. So it's that's enough to be like, yeah, it's, it's a little bit, but look, we have just under a million LP left. So, And we're not using it for anything else at the moment. Nothing actively draining it constantly, so. Um... How would we prank with milk? We could put like fresh milk all ooh. A milker attachment for Steve's cart. Milk and cookies. We could leave him milk and cookies. Wouldn't that be great? Or a milk bucket? Hmm, I don't know. Anyway, I think that's going to about wrap things up for tonight. Thank you, uh, thank you to all the new viewers, the, uh, the Drax, Drax Raiders, you guys are awesome. Thank you for tuning in and joining my stream. And, uh, hope you liked all the things that I did. All the things that I do. Yeah. And we will see you guys again on Friday. Enjoy your week, and I'll see you then.